Did you know when you come back to the precinct, the gray boxes and the weapon storage are all refilled with medicine? Uh, that That's pretty pointless. But also, ammunition, which, needless to say, you'll never run out of ammunition. You'll never run out of that. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, mer- Aw, oh, man. So you go- so you go to your co-workers, like Nick's here, hey, we have an emergency meeting in the conference room. So yeah, basically, uh, go to the conference room. The one where we basically royally screwed our career. If it's not apparent, basically Daniel's just there chilling, being all, I'm Daniel. Uh, you want to repeat that? Let's go, folks. We're starting the meeting. All right, Daniel. Fair enough. I guess we'll just go fork our career even more so. It's not like I have anything else to do. It's Christmas. Miracles can happen. Hey, it's the boss. How you doing, boss? Got any new, uh, new information? New ways to screw my career over? Melissa's solo concert was scheduled today. Yeah, I got that. Cool. Uh, she disappeared. Well, she turned into a freaky crazy monster thing that can summon alligators and also weird goose stuff and ignite people. You know what? All right. You're just concerned that another uh, carry incident, as I'm going to call it, uh, the Park Amphitheater. You know, there's something they're not telling us. Also, Daniel seems to be quite... Oh, that's very unfortunate. Your ex-wife and your son are in danger because they're already there. Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel, dude, it's his son. You're not going to stop him, man. It's very important. He, he's going to go no matter what. Watch his back. Well, I am his partner, sir. Oh, you're giving me another weapon mod. That's really cool. I probably haven't explained what me weapon mods do. Uh, there is a reason for it, and it's super unimportant right now. Uh, the main reason is you can waste them. Early on, you'll waste them. Later on, towards the end of the game, they're quite useful. Because a lot of the endgame weapons that you'll get are a lot more valuable. I should follow Daniel, but I need to store this. Oh. There's a cutscene. I was gonna cut it, but lo and behold, dialogue. Uh, when are you gonna let me tune up the guns? Uh, well, basically, Torres is gonna rail. He's gonna ream you out because you know you're you're a loose cannon, man. You're gonna create some sort of dangerous firearm, and you're gonna kill someone, or you know you're gonna kill something. Uh, basically, he just wants everything to be safe. You might be saying that's a little cons. Ambiguous. Like, is there a reason behind this? Yes. Man, I could do so much. Yeah, you. I, I got that. You could make some pretty high-powered weapons. I got it. You know. I got it. I would cut this, but I think it's time that you understand how lo long and boring that is. Uh, I guess I could talk to you. Uh, you just apologize for making a scene. I got that. You want to be careful. Do you have any equipment, modification permits? No, I don't. And I got that. You can't do anything about that. I'm going to go follow Daniel now. Don't worry about weapon mods. We'll, we'll get into that soon enough. You'll understand. I got to go follow Daniel. He'd probably be long gone, but the game won't let him progress any further than Oh, it's go time, baby! Daniel's a man on a mission! What the hell does Melissa or no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people into one big area. Damn, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Oh man, I would not mess with Daniel. 
I mean, he's a lovable oaf. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad he's my partner, but goddamn it. I'm getting kind of a black dynamite ball vibe. I'm getting kind of a black dynamite vibe. Coming from Daniel, you know, when shit gets real, he's gonna break loose straight up. Straight up, gun down some bitches, slap a hoe. Doesn't even matter. He's got it going on. I would not mess with Daniel when he's all pent up. Ben! Daniel, stop! You're gonna, you're gonna light on fire. You're gonna get ignited. I gotta save my boy, rookie. Yeah, look. Uh, I love you, Daniel, but this is a case where I don't want you to get deep fried, okay? Uh, you're my partner. I'm a go. For some reason, I'm not affected. Sure, there's probably a reason for it, but at the same time, not important right now. I gotta go save Ben. Ben's my son. He's the only family I got. Oh. Sure. Don't talk about your ex-wife like she ain't involved. Well, to be fair, I mean, ex-wife probably has something to do with it. Uh, I don't know the whole story behind it, but at the same time, I understand. Alright, I'll save Ben. I get it. He's your boy. You love your boy. It's kind of, I'm kind of getting that vibe from Final Fantasy XIII. The one positive thing I actually got from that game. Saz and his son. Alright, can't remember his son's name. I'm sure Future Gillen will probably post it. If not, I apologize. Not important. Point is, uh, yeah, the one thing I like about that game, I totally get that vibe from you. It's not because you're black, it's just an observation that I'm getting. I, I gotta be honest. I, I totally dig it. <laughs> but that's irrelevant. Uh, cause I can save my prog- I don't wanna save my progress. I'm- I'm here. Police car. Uh, I'm sure the guy got burnt to a high hell, so... That was probably unpleasant. It was like burning in hellfire. Uh, also, I'm sure there's an enemy fight coming about. Also, there's a chest. I wouldn't have seen that chest any other way. Snakes! Also, we got a rifle. That is the new weapon I got equipped. Also, snakes, not not fun. The main reason is they poison you. Uh, I think there is a difference. I think there's a non-poisonous type. I'm gonna select all of that. Give me, give me it all. I should mention something else while we're here. Uh, the setting of chapter two, day two rather, is the zoo. Something that's always bugged me is, I figure if there was going to be a zoo involved, it should have been saved for a lot later, but that's my own... That would be my choice in game design. I, I don't design games for an obvious reason, but at the same time, I figure, uh, considering Mitochondria Eve... Think about it this way. Not, not the scientific Mitochondria Eve, but like Eve, you know, Melissa Eve. Uh, she can mutate rats into grotesque, horrible uh, abomination. And we're going to the Central Zoo. The question certainly arises, okay, we know she can make some pretty lethal soldiers with with a rat. What can she do with an entire zoo? And, and the other side is, I would rather think that she would save this whole... Uh, this whole mess for a lot later when you have to fight lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Uh, birds, by the way. I know, that's something you always wanted to see, right? Birds. Sure, we could we could go with exotic birds like toucans, macaws, uh, I don't know, some sort of really exotic songbird, I guess. Uh, it's not irrelevant. This looks like a crow. I'm sure it's not a crow. I'm sure it has a more legit name, but I can't think of it. Uh, I'm sure there's some... But we just leveled up and got a whole bunch of stuff. Junk! Let me tell you something about junk. It's irrelevant for the time being, and if I end up running out of inventory space, I'm going to toss it, but I'm going to try to save as much junk as I can. It has a reason, and it has a very cool reason, and it has something that I won't be explaining for a long ass time, but trust me when I say this. Save up as much junk as you can, but toss it if you need to. Uh, especially if you're running low on inventory space. Eve was here. I like that you see a charred cor like a charred corpse and you're just like, Eve was here. Uh, also, the zoo key. I'll need that. Also, uh, a vest. I'll probably equip that off screen. Uh, something else to be noted, if I, if I remember correctly, 
you'll move this little, uh, whatever that is. <laughs> that little, uh, not, not important. Not important. Not gonna focus on it. We got this. It has something very special. Something I, which makes that weapon garbage. If I can actually scroll down to it. I did mention this early on. It's a grenade launcher. Maybe I can actually go to items. Give me a second. Allow me to try to figure out what I'm trying to explain. I guess I can't explain it. I need a tool. Really, that, that is the end result of what I was trying to get at. Uh, unfortunately, trust me when I say this, the grenade launcher is kind of garbage. I mean, it'll be useful for some enemies, but at the same time, it's... Uh, it's not going to hold up very well as a general use weapon. That is very unfortunate. Oh, this thing. I know what this is. This is a monkey. Believe it or not, this thing right here is a monkey. It got heavily mutated. Pretty fucked in a lot of light, but I beat it, so I'm not going to focus too much. Something to note about it, that giant arm that it kind of just has can detach and be used as a boomer boomerang. It's not a good, it's not a good thing to happen, you know. You don't want to get hit by it. Oh man, we're in a bird enclosure or something, snake enclosure, uh, tropical rainforest enclosure. Man, you know what this is reminding me of? Going to going to Seattle. I plan on going to the local zoo that's in Seattle. Uh, and let me tell you, th this is giving me bad vibes all around. I shouldn't have played Parasite Eve, man. I plan on going to the zoo, and this is, lo and behold, this is what I got going on. Uh, oh, am I out of space? That's unfortunate, because now I'm going to have to get rid of junk. And I wasn't ready for that. I might as well use a, use a medicine while I'm at it. Talk to these things. There are many types of rainforest snakes. Some are poisonous, but most are not. I don't know, man. I think the rainforest, I mean, yeah, some are not poisonous, but I'm thinking that it's, it's a mix of 50-50. Uh, I digress. The giant worm of South America are very important to the rainforest ecosystem. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, they compost the soil or something like that. Uh, look out for the brown monkey, one of our many playful, or playful rainforest friends. I got that. You know, the real reason I'm here is because there's the chest all the way over yonder. And I gotta go, oh, there's two chests, three chests, uh, my bad, three chests all over, yeah, you know, it's cool, I'll, uh, get rid of some, oh, I didn't even need that, uh, actually, if I remember correctly, nope, never mind, I take it back, eventually, I will get some sort of antidote spell, I will definitely need that, though. That can be useful. In fact, allow me to allow me to actually use that. Clear some inventory. Obviously, that's the one that I have equipped, so I might as well use it on such. Now that I think about it, did I even equip the armor that I have? That was better. I'm gonna need a tool to reevaluate that. So you'll get you'll get some. You'll get some stat boosting things. Those will add to the uh, the added bonuses, not the base. And basically, with the tool, you can add whatever you add to other weapons, and that'll be carried over when you use a tool. It's, it's pretty nice. You can basically, if you blow up, up like I just did, not gonna be a huge, not gonna be a huge problem. Like so, I just got a tool. So guess what I can do to rectify what I just did wrecked by my own actions use that use that there we go add that to the best well we moved it oh no move that see I, I i need that to go away yeah there you go you still again got that bonus don't worry about nothing it's all good baby hope you're enjoying the zoo as much as i am because, I mean, it's not, it's, it's going to be worse. It's not over yet. I need to go grab this, though. 
I see them trying to hide that chest all the way over there. I see them trying to get me into battle all the way over here. There's monkey. There's some birds. Birds will usually always carry junk. Something to note, I suppose. Oh, he's using his boomerang. His boomerang attack. Good luck trying to explain how that even works in real life. I mean, it's not like I can detach my arm and do the same exact thing. It, it's a little difficult to dodge. I'm not gonna lie. It's, early on, they make some things that are pretty easy to dodge. It, it gets a lot tougher later on, but it's not impossible. I kind of like how battles work in this sense. Also leveling up. Oh, Detox, don't need potions anymore. Don't need potions. All irrelevant now. All those P cures, don't need them. I got Detox, baby. With that, I'm gonna end the part. Because that's all I needed.